and it's dusty, and it's a long way across Ethiopia. And I hit part of the time, and part of the time I walk. And then finally, finally I get there, and guess what? The hill, it's steep. But this passage is never easy. At the door are my father's secretaries, the days, the hours, the centuries. But they don't recognize me, so they let me in. There he is, all shiny and golden. And I can't even look at him, he's that bright. And you know what he says to me? He says, My son, you are welcome. My son, you are welcome. Speak faith to your father. Speak faith to your father. Now, I can't even tell you what this was to me. So I basically tell him everything. I just spilled my guts to him. And you know what he says? He says, My son, let me grant you a favor. Let me grant you a favor. Whatever you ask shall be yours. Whatever you ask shall be yours. And he swears to it. The conventional historian of the tissue relates to the realized potential is inevitably accompanied by a radical realizance of his emotional relationship with the image of his parental authority. So, it's kind of obvious there's only one thing I really want. Right? So I say, give me the keys to your car. Immediately he starts backpedaling, saying it's his job. It's my job. And that no one else can do it. You can't. And that up in the sky are the bull and the lion and the scorpion to get me. And I say, it's my turn, Dad. You promise I want to light my, the world today. I want to drive myself across the sky. Hand it over. The father of his substitute wants to be assured. Before he transfers the symbol to the dull vocation that the sun is no longer operating from the infantile complexes. Complexes that might dangerously rewrite his new task for the unconscious promptings of self-organization, personal preference, or feelings of sentiment. Where have you been all my life, Dad? It's my turn. You promised. Hand it over. So he hands over the reins, but he won't stop giving me advice. Like, don't fly too high. Don't fly too high. Fly too low. Go slantwise. Stay in the track. But I didn't listen. Myths are the earliest form of science. It was over before it began, all right? It was chaos. It made complete and utter chaos. You know, my knees were weak from all the driving. My eyes were blind from all the light. I kind of set the world on fire. And I felt, you know, I was completely and utterly destroyed. O-V-E-R, over. <laughs> Unfortunately, we give our mythic sides scan attention to 